All right, back here at Black Point, doing another uh, seagrass update, man. Where's the seagrass? Uh, this is December, I believe it's 27th, and uh, going over the same area I went over a few times before, and uh, doesn't look much better. It looks pretty barren. I'm gonna put the cameras down here in a minute, down on the ground, see if there's any any start of any seagrass growing up in this area. Also, I'm going to check a few other other areas while I'm here. Um, we're just off Black Point, same spot I've been to the last few times. It did have a nice, nice bunch of seagrass growing here before the hurricane, but uh, that has all disappeared. So uh, it's been a little over a month since I last uh, dropped the camera down. So we're going to put the cameras down, see what's going on. Uh, once I review the uh, video, I'll, 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 give you, I'll give you my impressions. So. Uh, Black Point Seagrass. Well, the first thing I noticed when I put the cameras down was that it did look like a desert. You know, I was drifting over maybe about two miles an hour. The wind was blowing the uh, boat across the flats. Uh, but once I really started to look, I did see some remnants of, of, of grass. So what I did is that I slowed up the uh, the motion of the camera and then I zoomed in and I did see what is the beginning of grass coming out out of the sand so it was encouraging the good thing is now is that we do have very little rain the water is clear sun is getting to the bottom and it looks like grass is starting to form around Black Point I also went over and checked out another spot. There's a, I call it the white pole. There's a white pole sticking up between um, Black Point and the mainland. And this area had a really nice lush grass flats. Uh, lush has been for a long time before the hurricane. But uh, it's too is starting to come back. Very early stages. Now what caused the grass to go away? Yes, we had the hurricane, but it really was the billions of gallons of fresh water that was dumped out of the C-54 canal that came in. And even though this water here, it's two to three feet deep, it totally blocked out all the sunlight to the bottom. It was that dirty. It looked like day old coffee. And that went on for a month or more. Well, after watching the videos, uh, I am encouraged. I think 2018 is going to be the year that the uh, seagrass does rebound. But it's been very important. I think the key factor is if we stop dumping the water into the lagoon. I mean, there's just there's no way the grass can survive that much. Billions upon billions of water, uh, gallons of water being dumped in the lagoon. It's just, there's no way. And eventually it's going to take its toll to the point where it may not rebound but uh, I see some grass it's starting up it looks encouraging as long as we have a nice winter not too cold not too hot and we don't get any major hurricanes although I don't think it's so much the hurricanes it's what they dump afterwards if the hurricane comes through they look whatever would normally run off from a hurricane I think the grass will be okay but if we dump billions upon gallons on top of that it's just not gonna make it so uh, in January, let's see how things look. This is Pete Hink. See you later.